black pin. Here we go. Let's unbox this bad boy. I hope this OLED performs a lot better than the LG B780. Because with the Xtreme 1 chip on here, the picture is going to be even more elevated for the highest quality. Now the only thing I'm concerned with is vertical banding. But I read that it's not. It's been improved on the new panel for 2018. Also, I'm not going to put the 5% video on this TV. Uh-uh. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not going to go look for it. I'm just going to enjoy every second. Here we go. Here's the base. Nice and heavy too. Owner's manual. Warranty booklet, uh, PlayStation View booklet, a couple of AAA batteries, your IR blasters, and a cable tie.
fill this stand. Okay, so I'm gonna put the pedestal together. Basically, just gonna put these two little arm sockets in on both sides and put a couple screws in there. Let's get to it. These are all the same size. Looks that way. Four and four. Yep. Nice and tight. Yep. All right. Stand is built. We're gonna go right there. these back a little bit too. All right, looking good. Now I'm gonna get this all configured and then we're gonna put the base on the floor and then move the TV on the base and then screw in those last four, four screws in the back. So it's all one solid, one solid foundation. Yeah, I'll show you the pictures. Probably won't do a video of that part. I'm have my wife help me. So, take it out of the box. We're going to put the TV right on the pedestal and then the four screws. And we are in business. All right. That's beautiful. All right, so we have the four panels, and these panels are going to go on the back of the TV to hide the wires. That's what I'm working on now. Just want to show you that it is on the table, and it looks looking beautiful. And I really like the wire management for the power cord tucked away, and the HDMI, Ethernet, and coax for the antenna, all neatly routed through that, so it's going to look really nice. All right. All right, guys, so I'm about to put the box back together. Everything is just about ready to put back here. And the finished product in the back. Oh, yes. That's clean. It is clean. Got all the panels on on the side, the big one here, the back, and then the one for the power cord. Clean, clean, clean. So we got the uh, clip speaker here, which is hooked up to the uh, the Alexa dot there. Got all my wires tucked in on the bottom. 
We got the uh, Cinnamon Audio Quest, the uh, Audio Quest Pearl. We have, um, I'm hooking up the subwoofer. So, so the headphone jack output is gonna, I'm gonna plug into that sub right, right down underneath there. And then we have the ethernet cord, the digital coax for the antenna and your power cord. All nicely neat put there. Ooh, it looks so clean. I love this look. Way better than the white look of the LG OLED. Oh, it's so clean. Can't wait to hear what the subwoofer sound like and the actuators that vibrate the screen for sound. That's so cool. All right, so I'm about to uh, turn it on. Oh, and here's the remote. Just put the batteries in and uh, looks really nice. Yeah, so I'll get that put on. All right, guys, I'll get you uh, set up and let's turn it on. So I want to show you a quick look of the front here before I turn it on. Very nice looking screen. So I suppose I should take these stickers off too before I start going. But one more time to see it's there. Bravia OLED 2018. Yeah. Let's go. All right, guys, you ready? Moment of truth. I got it all set up. I'm about to press that power button. You ready? Let's do it. Oh, so excited. Come on, Sony. Don't let me down with the OLEDs. Keep me, keep, keep the faith. Keep the faith alive in OLED. The best TV technology available. Here we go. Oh, checking the panel. We're checking it. Edge to edge, edge to edge. Okay, looking good. Whew. All right. English. Do I have an Android tablet? Yes, I do. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's recording this video right now. Ah, of course. Well, hopefully I can do this later. Um, you know what, guys? I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this, and uh, I'll, I'll resume after I get the uh, my phone hooked up. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I got my phone linked. Um, to the TV so you can control the TV with your phone opening in the Android app. So let's continue on here. I'm gonna accept uh, Google third party apps position device location. Oh, my goodness. Uh, is Google? No. Uh, do I want to improve Android TV? Uh, yeah, because it needs all the help it can get. So definitely. Meet your Google Assistant. Allow, yes. Well, we might as well let the cat out of the bag here. I do see a, f a slight band but this is way better than the lg i tell you that right now way better than the lg so this newer panel has improved that's all i wanted that's all i wanted was just a, an improved panel so i'm happy okay dropping stuff all right so what else we got so we, yep all the way down to the bottom i agree Voice recognition, TV internet connected, yes, let's do that. How will you receive programming? We are gonna do a built-in tuner. Auto run, yes. Scanning channels, should have around 50. 
So that's what I got with my um, the home run, the HD home run uh, device. All right, got 40. That's still pretty good. Moving on. Uh, Enable Samba. Interact with your favorite shows, your recommendations based on the content you love. Connect devices to this content special offer. Link in the description. Um, you know, I'm going to say no. Uh, are you sure you want to disable Samba? I have Samba. Resume watching. Yeah, no. Setup complete. What's next? I'm going to show the... Uh... Whoa, TV. Holy yeah, TV. Um, let's... Uh... Hopefully not get flagged for anything. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you right now, it's bright. Uh, that's the news. So the TV is on, folks. Looking good. I don't know what's going on up there, but... All right, let's uh, let's go to the main home home screen. Okay, you gotta load up for the first time. There you go. All right, so what I want to do first is set up my inputs. So the very first thing you want to do is go down external inputs and you want to turn on your um, ultra 4k inputs oh, okay we got lots of noise apologize for that folks wife kid and dogs are doing something over there uh signal format enhanced format for hdmi 2 and 3 yep good manage inputs we want to this is going to be my computer. So we'll just call this uh, PC uh, or computer. Let's just call it computer. PC. Okay, done. HDMI 1, we're going to not show disable for this oh disable okay good auto disable auto disable screen mirroring and the arc this is going to be denon Then an AVR. I hope we can fit all that in there. AV. Uh, nope, I can't. So we'll just call it uh, Denon. Done. All right. So labels are set. So now we want to go to that input. And Denon. There. Now we'll turn on the piece. Uh, the Denon receiver. And let's look at uh, PS4 Pro, of course. RL 3D upgrade. RL 3D feature upgrade is available to purchase online. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. So we will ignore that. You sure on the 
Holy. Ah, we're in game mode. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to uh, mess with this a lot more. Uh, so let's just let's just start it and see what we get here. Ooh wee! Alexa, turn off PC area. Okay. Damn, look at this detail, holy. Wow. Oh, this looks so damn good. Hmm, I don't know that one. What the? Whoa! Nice dude. Doing the panning, I'm not noticing obvious banding at all in those darker scenes or the darker wall there. I'm not. I'm not noticing. That's all I wanted. Thank you, Sony. My faith in OLED has been restored. What the? Oh Alright guys, I'm not going to keep going. This isn't a God of War video. Alright, so, so far impressions are bright, crisp, and less significant, less banding. Significant. Where I feel very, very happy about this TV. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it right here. But you know I'll make more videos of this TV if you want, you know, by request if you want. Otherwise, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it here. So far, I am so happy with this TV. The uh, the look of the of the, of the frame, uh, the bezel, the, the stand is so much better than the LG. I love the simplistic look of this stand. It fits perfectly. I love it. I love it. All right, well, this is Raf in the Raf Cave with the new Sony. 65 inch A8F 2018 OLED signing off. I am back. I am happy again. OLED is back in the raft cave. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.